Let me read you one scripture over here, and then I'm going back up. Galatians chapter 6, verse 1. The word of the Lord said, Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a thought, ye which are spiritual, restore such as one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. Now, if we see our brother, if we see our sister, if we see somebody that's been serving God, that's walked with God, that's hey, uh, walking in the fellowship with God, hand in hand with God, if we see them in a fall, if we see them caught in a snare, and hey, you know something? Sin is sin. I don't care what it is. All sin is forgivable except for blaspheming and the Holy Ghost. Hey, glory to God. Now, church, uh, adultery, if you see a brother or sister in the act of color in adultery, what you need to do is pray that you, you can get a spirit of meekness about you to where you can restore that person, to where you can go to them and encourage them to turn back to God. God will forgive that. God is capable of forgiving all sin. But what we do, we look at it and we say, hey, they got messed up, they ain't got no right ever walking with God again. But let me tell you something tonight here. It says right here in Galatians, brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fall. How many of you agree with me? Sin is sin. Just like what they say it this way, stealing is stealing, whether it's a quarter or whether it's a thousand dollars. Right. Oh, it's just a quarter. I ain't nobody would miss that. You might as well steal a thousand. You steal a thousand, you might as well steal a hundred thousand. But the spirit for you. Now, I'm not saying that. Don't nobody get me wrong. I'm not saying you go out here and commit adultery. Go out here willfully sin. But I'm saying if a brother or a sister or someone that's walking in the Lord gets in a thought, you see them in a thought, which is a sin. Sin is sin. Any work of the flesh. What is the works of the flesh? Back up to the fifth chapter, we'll start at verse 19. And something else in my mind, I want to start on over at 13, but maybe next time we'll back up. God just changed that. Now the works of the flesh are manifested, are manifest. Which are these? Adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lasciviousness, adultery, witchcraft, hatred, violence, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, hearsays, envies, murders, drunkenness, and revenue. And such like, of which I tell you before, as I have also told you in past times, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of heaven. Now that any of those works of the flesh there would be a thought. And now how many of us today have come up and made thoughts down through our walk with God? Not a one of us. And I was telling Eddie the other night, maybe Jason and uh, Zach hadn't left yet, but it burns me up that a lot of times preachers will give you an illusion. How many know what the word illusion means? An illusion is something that's false. Sometimes preachers will give a congregation the illusion that they are without sin. That they are beyond committing any sin. That they are beyond getting, making a mistake or getting in a thought somewhere. But let me tell you something. Every one of us here tonight had the same struggle. Every one of us had the same thing here. The word of the Lord teaches me that the Spirit is willing. What's the Spirit willing to do? The Spirit, <coughs> the Spirit is willing to follow the Spirit. To follow the voice of God. To follow the leading of God. But what's it go on to say? The flesh it is weak. Even 
when the apostle Paul fought with his flesh on a daily basis, even Paul had to worry and contend with his flesh. There's not a one. Right every day you've got to contend with your flesh. Uh, Jason back there every day has to contend with his flesh. Crystal has to contend, and when I say contend, we have to fight against our flesh. The spirit that's on the inside has to war against this flesh right here. This flesh has a sinful nature. You say, I've been born again, but I don't have it no more. I beg your pardon. You ain't perfect yet. Pardon me, English, I don't have the best. But we are not perfect as of yet. So uh, we war against this flesh. Hey, and if we get caught in a snare, if we get caught in a, one of the enemy's traps, I don't want somebody to push me down. Amen. I want somebody to pray until they get a spirit of meekness about them and where they can come to me and reach their hand out and begin to strengthen me, begin to put me back on the path, begin to point me back toward the cross. Hallelujah. To begin to restore me. Too many times. And too many, too many times, what's wrong with the church today? The, we stray from that old path, like I said the other night. The old path, when you was first born 